it's Boobird. In this video, we're going to In the Welsh Wind, where I'll show you how I take the stills apart and put them back together again. So let's go! Here we have our two stainless steel stills and they can each hold a maximum of 500 liters of wash. This part is the boiler which has the heating elements inside. We finished the previous distillation and so I've attached a red hose to the bottom and I'm emptying the contents of the still right now into our septic tank. I'm also getting a hose to spray out any solid material that might be left inside the still. Above the boiler of the still is a sight glass filled with copper packing material. We've cut these pieces from a 100% copper pipe fitting. And as you can see, the copper has taken on this gray black color from reacting with the sulfur in the wash to produce copper sulfide. Good work, copper. After every distillation we do, I take apart the still so that I can access the sight glass and clean the copper packing material. I'll just put them in this bucket here and take them down over to the sink. Here you can see just how filthy they are from one distillation. I like to rinse out the pieces with hot tap water and some dish soap to get rid of the stains. And then I dissolve some citric acid in hot water and put in the copper pieces. I let it soak for about one hour or more in the solution in the sink. I'll scrub them occasionally with my hands so that the mechanical action can help take off more of the black stains. Meanwhile, I'll take the rest of the still apart. It's been over an hour now and I've drained the pieces and rinsed them in water. Look how shiny they are now. It's time to reassemble the still now. I'll pour them back into the sight glass and it's time to put on the swan neck. I'll clamp the swan neck on with two spanners to tighten the bolt so that it doesn't go anywhere. Then I'll do the same for the U-shaped line arm. Next to go on is the condenser. It's quite heavy and it isn't possible for me to hold the condenser while tightening it onto the line arm. So I always get one of my coworkers to give me a hand here. Here you can see me repeating the same process for the second still. It's quite annoying taking the still apart after every single distillation just to clean the copper pieces. So we're getting a copper onion to replace the copper pack sight glass so I don't have to do this anymore, hopefully. I think this is one of the interesting parts of having a smaller still like this. Unlike at the Borders distillery where the stills were so big you couldn't really make changes to their parts. All the stills here are small enough that you can change out different parts of the still and add on more elements to make the still bigger if you want to. Also, you'll notice that compared to my previous distillery, where the stills were made entirely out of copper, these stills here are stainless steel except for the copper pack sight glass. Copper is great for removing sulfur in the wash. Without it, you can get a lot of sulfurous compounds in the distillate. So initially, when we were doing the distillations in these stills, the distillate smelled strongly of rotten eggs and rotting meat. It stunk up the whole room. So we had to do some experiments and make some changes to our fermentation process and distillation process to try and limit the amount of sulfur flavors in the distillate. It was a whole big process, but that's for another video. While I've been reassembling the stills, I've also been filling them with another batch of wash. So as soon as I finish assembling the stills, I can turn them on again. I'm also pouring a bit of anti-foam solution into each still. Very important. 
If I don't put this in, the wash inside could froth up and over the still and be collected along with the distillate. As well, there's a lot of organic material inside the wash. So if it boils up into the rest of the still, I have to take everything apart and clean each part individually. Otherwise, it might get moldy or affect the flavor of the next distillation. I put the end cap on the top of the boiler hatch. I've made sure that all the tri-clamps and nuts and bolts are tightened and now all that's left to do is turn on the stills for our next distillation. And we're done! I hope you enjoyed watching me clean the stills today. Please support the channel by giving this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more distilling and distillery videos. This is Brewbird, sending goodbye to me. I'll see you next time.